gentlemen, my name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm the Director of Research and Development Intelligent Concrete, where we specialize in saving the world with all the concrete in it, making concrete do the impossible. Today we're going to be talking about gray versus white Portland cement. We've been going into our white business cards, these glow-in-the-dark business cards, a lot lately, and folks have been showing a lot of interest, and one of the questions came up, what is the difference between white and gray cement? So we want to dive into that for you. So let's just make it happen, Captain. Ding! This is a beautiful overhead shot of both a gray and a white Portland cement. They're both a type 1, type 1, 2. So the first thing I want to identify is what that means and the differences between chemical composition and physical composition. And when it comes down to it, on a very holistic scale, we can make a white Portland cement do the same thing as most gray Portland cement. So here in the western US, we normally use a type 1, type 1, 2. You have Portland cements that are type 1, or white Portland cements that are type 1, type 1, 2. So again, chemical composition, they are going to be very, very similar, except for that one component that changes it from white to gray. And we'll get into that here in a second. But when it comes down to it, it still makes that concrete fluid down the chute into the formwork and gets hard. Um, when it comes down to the physical changes, again, it normally is the same thing as a gray Portland cement, except for that one little piece that makes it gray. When it comes down to it, we can also create a very fine version of our white Portland cement to mimic what a type 3 gray Portland cement do and does and normally we use that in high early strength applications. So first things done, second thing, how do we make white Portland cement? Mm, there are only very few places in the US where we make white Portland cement and being here in Colorado it's kind of hard to get this stuff especially since nor most of it comes out of the East Coast. So what you're looking at again is that same overview shot. To get that white look to it, what we have to do is strip something out called paramagnetic alloys, which is a very labor intensive process. That's why when you get your white Portland cement, don't be surprised when it is very, very expensive, especially when we compare it to our standard cement that does not have to go through that stripping and ripping of the paramagnetic alloys. Okay. Number three, the last thing that we're gonna do. Oh, time out. Had to remind you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell. If you do, we're gonna enter you into for a drawing to get some of this awesome glow-in-the-dark concrete, which glows green for about 15 minutes to a half an hour with a full day of sunlight, very bright, and then blue for nine to 12 hours with a full day of sunlight. It's really cool stuff, really cool stuff. Anyway, why would we use white Portland cements? Now, there's a lot of research out there about durability, about getting better strengths, but the, the basic reason that we use this white Portland cement is to get architectural concrete. Concrete that we could change the colors. We have a finer handle on that color, brighter, truer colors than adding color to a already darkened material, gray material, which is very hard to get a bright blue, bright red, bright green when you're using a normal or standard gray Portland cement. So, ding! Patchouli did a wonderful job doing this overhead for us. Thank you, Patchouli. And you can see right away the difference between that white Portland cement mix and that gray Portland cement mix. Thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you learned something. Let us know if you've got any concrete questions, concrete concerns. Go concrete! Beat asphalt!